The 737 was an idea born of the mid-1960s. The 737-100 and nearly identical 200 were similar in length, having those skinny engines bolted right onto the wings like a pair of cigars. It was short, 94 to 100 feet long, and carried around 100 passengers. It was intended as a short-range jet, a range of less than 2,000 miles. Less than two decades later, the 737 would change significantly. The new 737 300, 400, and 500 came in different lengths, carrying up to 188 passengers. The engines were different too. No more cigar-shaped JT-8s, but quieter, high-bypass CFM 56s, mounted higher and in front of the wings. Range was a bit farther too up to nearly 2,400 miles for the shorter Dash 500 jets. By 1987, the 737 had become the world's best-selling airline. Those planes became known as the classics, but by the early 90s, the next generation was in development, and that's what they were called, NGs or next gens, with an upgraded wing. It came in four sizes, the 737, 600, 700, 800, and 900, but by far the most popular was the 800. The 900 extended range models bumped capacity up to 210 passengers. Range increased too by about 1,000 miles to 3225. The plane was now fully capable of flying the continent. By 2011, with growing competition from Airbus, Boeing decided to go one better. 737 MAX. It came two in four sizes, the MAX 7, 8, 9, and 10. It had a new engine as well, the CFM Leap 1B, which was mounted further forward and a bit higher to clear its larger fan. And the plane also has those distinctive forked winglets. Even the smallest MAX 7 could typically carry 50 more passengers than the original 100. Overall, capacity of the MAX 10 could carry as many as 230, and the range now pushed more than 3,800 miles. MAX 10 is nearly 50 feet longer than the first plane out the door 52 years ago. Since 1967, more than 10,000 737s have been delivered.